Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is gonna be for the week of the 20th to the 26th of December, so happy holidays everybody. Um, I'm gonna go straight into your reading Pisces and see what's going on for you in particular this week. 10 of Pentacles, we're really coming out with that. An amazing time for family, for stability in terms of finances. This is also really incredible as well for you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of money coming in <laughs> around this time, which is nice. We have the Page of Wands coming through. Let's clarify that. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> what is this about? I, I, someone said something that's gonna ruin everything. There is something that someone has said that has ruined something, Pisces. Let's clarify. Okay, but there is healing here. All right. <laughs> Any kind of commotion happening this week, please understand that there is healing involved. Whether that's a separation and you are now healing or whether this is together you're healing, it almost feels like there may have been either, a th not third party as in, I don't think this is to do with cheating, but maybe someone has said something um, that's made you kind of think twice about someone or maybe you've needed to confront someone because of something that you've heard about. I know very specific message here, Pisces, but I do see a dynamic that may have fallen apart is coming back together um, after some time, all right, with the star card. There's a need for healing first, okay, from a situation. Now, I do also see, just be aware, we do have this amazing abundance and I want you to remember that with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, some of you might be getting a puppy. Um, I'm kind of seeing with the page of wands here. Some of you are getting multiple animals. Anyways, or have multiple animals. With the page of wands, this can also be some gossip going on within this week. And this is where maybe someone says the wrong thing. Um, I do again see healing involved with this. And I do see that things will be worked out. But just be aware of what you're saying to certain people. Or again, just be careful of reacting towards what some people are saying here. Absolutely. There's someone who wants your attention here. Can we clarify what this is? Sorry, my ears ringing here. Clarify this dynamic. We have someone who loves you, Pisces. How interesting. Let's talk about it though. Because I don't... So we have the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. And I don't like this because we're in very different pages. <laughs> We are on very different levels and I feel like this person may be offering something to you. Again, you're very much in your power. I'm seeing you as the queen of wands, Pisces. Very beautiful. You might be looking very glamorous around this week, which is nice. Or just Maybe you just naturally are glamorous. Someone's wanting to um, flirt. Someone's saying some cheeky things. I just don't think you want it from this person. The only reason why I'm saying that is because it was from the page of wands that the tower card comes in. I don't think you want what this person is saying. <laughs> um, I'm kind of getting slimy behavior. This person's disgusting. Why am I saying that though? Clarify? Maybe you just know something about this person and now that they're approaching you, you're like, you think you have a chance? <laughs> yeah, look, Seven of Swords, this person's slimy. There's something very deceptive and disgusting about this person. I'm sorry. I don't mean to judge and I'm not judging. I don't even know who they are, but the energy that's coming in, I don't like. I don't like it. All right. And again, just be careful of what people are saying to you and don't take it for full. Um, don't take it as a full truth because I don't think it is. I think someone's trying to stir the pot here or again, someone's trying to get a reaction out of you because they know they can. Pisces, something very fiery about your energy within this week, which is nice. You do look incredible, by the way. <laughs> You're looking incredible. But this person's trying to like, Ew, okay, right, some of you Pisces, stay away from this person um, because I, I really don't, I have a feeling someone's just trying to, I don't, I want to say use you. You're out of this person's league though? Well, yeah, that's that's 100%. I don't mean to say that with uncertainty, I'm just saying that because I'm hearing it. <laughs> so I said it in that voice and that tone, but it's, it's with the Queen of Wands, they think they can have a chance, but they can't. Of course they can't. They know they're punching above their weight. That's a saying here with the lover's card. This could even be a friend, but you know stuff about this friend, Pisces, that makes you really feel like, what the heck, why are you coming to me? All right, anyways, let's talk about what else is going on for you guys. 
I want you to be very careful. I feel like for some of you, stay away from people who in the, who are like this. I, I'm getting a really disgusting um, message here for some of you about someone trying to touch you up, right? Please don't allow that to happen. Of course, you can't control it, but stay away from anyone who gives you bad vibes, okay? I really didn't like that message, but I had to say that out loud. Oof, all right. Anyways, next message, please. We have the Knight of Cups coming in. This feels like a different person, though. Hmm. This is someone... Maybe that we're thinking about Pisces? I'm hearing deciding whether to take a leap or not. But there feels like there's stagnant energy around this. Interesting. Could it again be a divine counterpart? Could be a Scorpio or somebody has Scorpio placements. I do see communication coming in from someone else. All right. <laughs> Pisces, you have a lot of um, attention this week, which doesn't surprise me because you're in the Queen of Wands energy here. This is better, whoever this person is, because you match. All right. You're on the same level here. But for some reason, there's stagnancy. I do see that there are emotions here, Pisces, with this person. But maybe someone was reluctant to see that or didn't um, didn't take it. Because with the Four of Swords, I'm hearing someone's feeling very sorry for themselves here in this connection. With the Two of um, Wands, they are trying to think about their future. Whether that has you in it or not, I can't see exactly that. Because I do see that this is a stagnant connection right now. Why? interesting i think it needs time with the um chariot this will be fast moving soon so if maybe you and someone are on a bit of like a break with the temperance card clarify that quickly hmm yeah feeling left out on a cold and a bit um confused and emotionally disappointed with the situation i do see someone's on a break here but with the temperance card I'm seeing that all you need is to rebalance yourself and I see you moving forward again. Now, in terms of career, for those of you who are interested, um, again, there's a stagnant energy around this week, so maybe you are off work this week, but you are thinking about it is one thing I will say for those who resonate with that. You're just constantly wanting to think about the future and the next step and where it's going to lead you. And maybe there's some big moves coming up for you in the future that, again, is, is not allowing you to kind of sit comfortably and relax. Um, I do see that you taking a leap of faith. Some of you might be moving across seas or some of you might be um, moving states or anything like that here Pisces um, I'm kind of seeing that there is a big move that you need to make and it is going to make it's going to be positive changes we like this card when that comes in and it may be a lot of movement fast movement and a lot of things that you need to do which is why we aren't kind of been we haven't been able to kind of sit comfortably we're constantly thinking about something I do see that this will in time resolve itself and there will be a balance here so you'll be able to get up and get moving but they're saying here that you sometimes need rest so that you can rejuvenate but i understand if you can't take your mind off of it here it's just asking for a bit of balance and a bit of faith because you are going to get wish fulfillment okay everything's going to work out the way that you need it to with the nine of cups is great the nine of cups is great all right um let's talk about the ten of pentacles with five of swords three of pentacles so some of you have left left no this is past tense unless this is something that's just recently happened i'm seeing that you have left something to create your own abundance and manifest your own destiny here and this is where the ten of pentacles is coming in this is the right decision for you okay with the five of swords it's separation so that you have to rebuild by yourself so you can create something out of this world with a magician energy. You're channeling in divine energy, though, is one thing I will say, which is why there is this abundance coming in for you. So Pisces, incredible for money, incredible for whatever it is that you've walked away from to rebuild. Incredible. You've made the right... I feel like the, your ancestors are like this. You've done good. Why? Look at this. Look at what's coming in for you. <laughs> Very quickly. It may take some work, but you will find success with this. And a lot of people celebrating with you with the Four of Wands, okay? Incredible. Ace of Pentacles. Planting that seed. New stream of income coming in for you guys. Multiple streams of income for some of you with the Eight of Wands. There's a lot that you're doing, but this is all working in your favor. So don't worry. You are really building that legacy. Okay? My ears ringing with that. All right. We like that. Oof! Oh my God. That scared me. <laughs> we'll take that as a sign now the two cards that came in or at least the ones that i saw 
before the rest of it fell out here is that there is something that you're waiting for and it does kind of feel like it's change transformation with the death card the three of wands as well this is you waiting for your real rewards now one thing i will say your rewards are on the other side of an ending all right and it kind of feels like this is the movement and the decisions that you're having to make you are having to make a big decision to move somewhere to change jobs to uh, leave one thing to go to another thing again there is a need for an ending before this abundance can come your way with the death card because you can't get it where you are right now you know that i know that i can see it in the cards so by making this ending by following your gut instinct and what it's telling you to do with the three of wands the results on the other side of that um so i like that what you're actually waiting for without realizing is this <laughs> it came as a surprise to me so it might come as a surprise to you you're like okay i'm ready for this abundance i've been praying for it i've been manifesting it all of a sudden boom maybe you lost your job maybe something bad happened or seen as bad right it's like a tower movement maybe that's what it is here something kind of fell through but then all of a sudden, something even better comes in. You have to rebuild, but yes, you're able to now manifest and get that result because of this ending, this transformation. It's almost like an ascension for you guys, though, because it is about going up to a new level, which is where you can uh, reap the rewards. And again, there's more. I kind of feel like they're showing me a tree and it's kind of like everyone can kind of get the bottom of the tree, right? So the fruit that the tree bears is kind of taken. You have to work your way up to get more fruit <laughs> so you're turning into a giraffe so you can reach higher things is what it feels like <laughs> of course that's like a just a, a thing it's a vision that i'm seeing you're not really going to turn into anything like that bit of a metaphor coming through great time for learning great time for education i do see a lot of motivation coming in by the end of the week here uh, we have the king of cups coming through the queen of pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Something is becoming too heavy, maybe because it's taking too much time. Um, the only reason why I'm saying that is because we're kind of wanting things to speed up a little bit. We're wanting things to move forward. But within this week, we kind of have this, they're kind of showing me like the sea here. It's kind of like a back and forth energy. This could be um, someone... Uh, this could be a dynamic here between you and an earth sign uh, it could be anyone for that matter here but uh, we have clarifying those two the knight of pentacles and a ten of wands it might be moving so slow that you might want to start to let it go now pisces let me see ten of wands what's the ten of wands here for two of swords making a big decision uh king of wands get one more and we have the hermit someone's trying to make the right decision and i don't know if it's you or somebody else here i'm getting this worry you're afraid to let someone down or to let something go maybe because of potential because you don't want to hurt anybody here with the two of swords and the king of wands it's almost like you're having to make a big decision the thing is, I'm hearing, I know this all too well. I know this all too well of how this is going to go. So you're delaying a decision because you're scared of again hurting someone or making the wrong decision. But with the Hermit card, again, Virgo energy coming through, it's about wisdom. You're coming from a place of experience with this, whatever that is. Can we clarify the dynamic between the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles? This can definitely be you, Pisces, here, um, balancing your emotions again after disappointment and regaining strength. But I am seeing an ending if this is a, a dynamic of two people, okay? Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands. It's disappointing, though. Maybe you have some emotions involved as someone else does. I do feel like there is a little bit of pain here, okay? And I think it's painful for you, too, if I'm going to be honest with you, because it's something you don't really want to do but you're having to cut the cords it could even be two people you're cutting off here all right maybe they're wanting something serious from you or again it's just very heavy stuff and you have too much to deal with right now yeah too much to deal with pisces you're in your emperor mode you have too much to do all right so i do see an ending coming through for some of you if this resonates and this is a big decision that you'll have to make here um, to call, again, it could be two people you're cutting off. Um, 
is, is, is providing a bit of difficulty, but it's something that you will have to do if it's something that you believe in, okay? But apart from that, again, remember the abundance coming in. Uh, try to chill out this week if you are able to. I know you want to get things moving forward, but Spirit is really saying that this is a good week to kind of chill a little bit because you, it's out of your control. You can't make things speed up right now. Let's pull some Love is God for you as well. The Pisces for the week. Passion, we have someone we got passion with, and honeymoon. So that's like a honeymoon phase. It's gonna be a new person in your life. And let's get a few more. We have keep an open mind. We have a lot more, right? We have it's safe for you to love, reconciliation, engagement, and new love coming in. How interesting. So with reconciliation and new love, what I am gonna say is that this could be someone that you did separate from and is coming back for some of you. And this could be an engagement. Someone wants something more serious from you. We do a wedding on the bottom of the deck too, especially with honeymoon. So some of you could be going on that. We do have passion here though. Keep an open mind and it's safe for you to love. This could be a good time for some of you to settle down with someone if you want to. Um, but some of you it will be an ending, but it's up to you, I guess. <laughs> all right. I love you guys and I wish you all the best and happy holidays. And I'll see you guys next week.